Um, Annalisa on Facebook is asking what our biggest design challenge was through the process. Well, I'd say one of the biggest challenges was meeting all the global safety requirements around the world. In Europe, there are certain safety requirements the cars have to meet, and in the States, there's different ones, and over in China, there's different ones again. And really encompassing all of them into one final solution set that doesn't compromise the appearance, I'm really pleased where we ended up in the final design. I think we've accomplished that, and uh, we came up with the best solutions. And kind of speaking on that same uh, idea of design, Belted Radio on Twitter is asking if we're going to introduce any other body styles um, and give the example of the coupe or the wagon. Ah, uh, yes. There's plenty of coupes in the studios, I can tell you. But they don't always get chosen. The, uh, this is a large car, the midsize segment. So you really have to consider how sporty we can get in maybe a different body style like a coupe on that size vehicle. But certainly with the added track, uh, I can tell you there are some ideas floating around. So. I think you probably have to talk to John and convince him and Rick. <laughs> Great. Um, and Chad on Facebook is asking, uh, this one's for you, John, if, why there won't be a V6 option. Well, at this point in time, all we've announced is our 2.5 liter four-cylinder uh, direct injected engine. Now, in New York, we will talk a little bit more about some of the power, additional powertrains we're coming to the market. But uh, at this point, we haven't talked about whether we'll have a V6 or not. So stay tuned and come back and uh, check out more news on Wednesday. Thanks. And uh, Stephen on Facebook says it looks great, and uh, he's wondering when it's going to come out. So, John, do we have any more info for him? <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, this, this, this red really looks great, and we're going to have that really pretty blue that we'll uh, also be uh, announcing and, and showing you in New York. Uh, so I, I'm sure you'll be excited about that. As far as when uh, this vehicle will be out in the public, uh, we, this car will be uh, in dealerships uh, in early of 2012 calendar year. So uh, we're excited that it's going to be coming soon. Hope you are too. Come check it out. And Patrick on Twitter is asking, uh, this is for you, John, uh, how important consumer technology was during the product development process? Well, w with this car, we looked at technology as being a great enabler for customer value. We're using a lot of new technology in our uh, power plants. That new four-cylinder has direct injection, has a lot of uh, technology to enable some great performance, a spirited performance, as well as some outstanding fuel economy. Inside, we've got some uh, new technology in terms of infotainment. We're going to use uh, the touchscreen, uh, seven-inch touchscreen. Chevy MyLink has a lot of customer-friendly uh, entertainment options that are using technology to make your life easier, uh, avoid any distracted driving. Voice recognition command is part of that. Uh, Stitcher allowing the internet access to you, and you can then command all that. Uh, through just voice activated commands. So a lot of technology in the powertrain, in the aerodynamics of the car, the styling also uh, recognized a lot of wind tunnel testing. So you've got some great slippery fuel efficiency out of just the design itself, the powertrain itself, inside with the technology and the radios, the, 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 even the ambient lighting that you'll see in the car is fabulous. A lot of, lot of simple touches of technology that are convenient for the consumer to use. All right, we have um, a question from someone at Motor Trend who is asking um, what platform the new Malibu is shared with. So, John, I would guess John O'Brien. Sure, I'll take that one. Uh, this is part of our Global Epsilon platform. Uh, so we have some heritage of this vehicle with the Opel Insignia in, in uh, Europe, uh, so it's got, which is an award-winning platform, has some great design, great performance handling uh, heritage from, with, that, with that heritage and, and that platform sharing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so Global Epson, which is, uh, we're very proud of it, and it's going to be, uh, allow us to go to 100 countries in, across the globe, and I'm sure it'll do well there. It'll be, we're, it's built for the U.S., built in the U.S., and two plants in the U.S. We're very excited to have it on the road and have it in your driveway soon.